not sitting here, and I want to begin with the scripture. Hebrews 13.7 of the NIV Bible states, Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Amen. I want to talk to you today about a concept, deconstructing Christianity. I've never heard of that term, but maybe the past month and a half, I started hearing about it. And people kept saying the words, the term, the phrase, deconstructing their Christianity. So I began to read it. And it is a bit confusing to say the least. It's a psychological term. Okay. I'm only going to briefly touch on it, but I, I implore you to study it and understand when people are saying this to you, what they really mean. It's confusing because when someone tells you they're deconstructing their Christianity, it can mean several things because for different people, the phrase has a different meaning. Go figure. So that's confusing within itself. So if one tells you that they are deconstructing their Christianity, you need to ask them what that means to them. What are you saying? For some, it means a critical dismantling of traditions and rituals and certain ways of thought. Okay, so they're they're questioning that and the authorities. Okay, so they're saying, I'm not going to accept when the pastor says that the Bible means X. Because how could he know exactly what God meant when he wrote X? So they're saying, I still believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I still believe that Jesus came and died for my sins. But I don't believe your interpretation of what this says. That could be a problem in and of itself. Because that could lead you down a path, right, to the second definition of the word. Many people who start by just dismantling the traditions of their Christian faith, the rituals that people do, that they say are a part of their faith, end up as atheists or agnostics. They just stop believing altogether. And that's a sad thing. I think the true definition of the word, or how we should take it is, to continually question what part of our faith has been hijacked by the world. For instance, Jesus Christ is not a Republican or a Democrat. And if you find yourself mixing your belief system with politics and using that to berate people, mistreat them, or insult them, you need to question that. That's not Christ. What you really want to avoid is deconversion, becoming an agnostic or an atheist. You see, sometimes we have a tendency as humans to question something to the point that we make it illogical. If the Holy Spirit came to dwell within you and convicted you of your sin and your life has been made anew, why would you question that? Healthy questioning is okay. Sometimes we have doubt. So in that case, seek answers. But don't turn away from your belief system because humans hurt you. Sometimes people deconstruct their faith because of church. So you may hear them say things like, I will never set foot in a church ever again. But I still believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and I still love him. But I'm never going to church ever again because those Christian people are horrible. I've I've sadly heard people say that. And the people I heard say that were Christian influencers. So that made it very sad because they had a sizable following. And so they're telling people this. So that causes people to question. So that causes people to question, maybe I don't need to go to church either. You do. You do. Jesus said not to forsake the gathering. Don't don't forsake the gathering of the body. Yeah, you do. You need to go there and fellowship with other like-minded believers. It keeps you strong in your faith. It helps you by having people outside of yourself. They call you out. You know, you're not living right. What are you doing? You need that sometimes. You need that mentorship of older Christian women or men to help you with your walk. Because a lot of times you have that old season lady or man in the church that have been through some things in life, right? So they can tell you, this too shall pass, okay? It's going to be all right. This is what I did. Maybe you could do the same, right? Don't turn away from the faith because this is a challenging season in your life. We need that. 
You understand, beloved? If you don't go to church and you surround yourself with people of the world, how long do you think it will take you to fall? For others, deconstructing the faith means maintaining a commitment to Christ, believing in the Bible, praying to the Lord, but rejecting evangelicalism. That's a deep thought within itself. I mean, I could, I could study each one of these things individually for a very long time. I think I may, because it's fascinating to me. It just simply is fascinating. Finally, the, the most sad definition of deconstructing your faith is burnout. Yes, Christian burnout. The church is supposed to point you in the direction of a model for Christ-like living to help you to fulfill yourself spiritually and refuel yourself and for you to grow closer to the Lord. It's supposed to be your shelter from the storm. But many houses of worship are devoid of any fruit of the Spirit, of any Christ-like behavior. They don't, it's like you go there, but God is not there. That can cause a person to turn away from their faith. So I urge you, look around you. Think about where you're at. Maybe instead of not going to church anymore, you just find a new church. If you're not getting fed and you're not getting the word and it's not true Christianity, that you just go there and people tell you things you want to hear to make you feel all bubbly and tingly inside, but you're not convicted to change who you are or be a better person and no one's helping you to grow, maybe that's not the spot for you. If you go to a, a church and they never open the Bible during the service to read a word from it to you, and they never urge you to open your Bible, you might want to question that place. So I just briefly touched the surface. Please do take the time to look at this for yourself. As always, I hope you got something out of it and God bless you and God bless you. I do truly appreciate you watching. Please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and by all means, commenting. I really like to know your thoughts on things. I'd like to have a dialogue with you in the comment section down below. Again, God bless you and God bless you.